So only a few days ago, a brand new exploit was released for the PlayStation 2. Now this exploit is a bit weird, it is pretty cool. Um, I will read about it and I will show you guys exactly what this exploit does. I don't think I'm going to be making a video on this exploit. Um, the reason being, it only works on PAL consoles. Um, it does work on every single PS2, but I think free McBoot um, via the mod chip or via the memory card is just a lot easier than actually having to do this. But basically this exploit was released by someone called Cita, hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly, but he managed to release a new exploit for the PS2 on October the 13th. So this hacker right here, Cita, he's known for actually bringing out the first ever PS4 kernel exploit back in 2016, but yesterday, or a few days ago for me, he dropped a new exploit for the PlayStation 2 scene. So not many people might be still interested in hacking the 20 year old console, the PS2 is pretty old now, but this kind of release is always interesting, at least from the technical aspect. It's also compatible with Slim consoles, so that's the one cool thing about this exploit. It also works on the PlayStation 2 Slim, um, which Free McBoot exploit doesn't actually work on that, um, as it says here, which is not the case for the popular Free McBoot exploit. The released exploit leverages YaBasic, a basic interpreter that ship on the PS2 demo discs. So if you guys do not know what a PS2 demo disc is, um, I'll show you guys a picture of it right now. It's basically like a disc. Um, you actually got them free with your PS2. I think you used to get them in those magazines as well. I'm not too sure how people actually came to getting these, but if you guys want to get one, they're like two pounds on eBay. They are dirt cheap. People are literally throwing them away. Um, but yeah, all of these ones, I'm pretty sure it works on most of these. I know it works on the FIFA 2001 and the snowboarding one. I'm pretty sure it works on most of the others as well. Um, and yeah, they're basically just PS2 demo discs and that is how the exploit works. So some of the discs were directly released with new consoles in the PAL region. I'm pretty sure a disc did actually come with my PlayStation 2. Um, I might have a look for it in my room. I think my whole one had Killzone on. I'm not too sure. If you own a PS2 you bought in Europe, it's likely you have one of these demo discs and you can run your basic and therefore run the exploit. If you don't know what this means, it's basically another way of running the free McBoot exploit. You can still get free McBoot running this workaround um, or you can just buy a free McBoot memory card off eBay, which is probably probably a, a lot easier um, kind of way of doing it. Okay, so this is how the YaBasic exploit works. The YaBasic exploit relies on some vulnerabilities in the YaBasic interpreter. CTERT has written a tool that lets you convert a payload into the matching YaBasic piece of code um, that let you load through your basic. Pretty straightforward. If you guys do not understand what this means, it basically lets you load your own payload and that's pretty much how you would hack it with free McBoot or something like that. The basic vulnerabilities involved are old school buffer slash integer overflows that CTERT describes in a detailed write-up. So to me, I'm not, I don't remember any of this coding stuff, so I'm not really an expert of how these exploits are actually made. Um, it's reasonably easy to understand since the PS2 did not have all of the modern security mechanisms that exist on modern consoles, that is pretty obvious. Um, okay, so pros and cons, I thought this bit was very interesting. The hacker outlines the benefits of this exploit as follows. It runs on all consoles, including the latest slim models, that is very cool. It can therefore either be used as an entry point for the free McBoot loader, or as the starting point for other developments to hack slim consoles. So that is pretty cool, maybe some new custom firmware will come out, who knows, some, maybe something will replace free McBoot. I don't know if people are still interested in the PS2. Free McBoot is not working on slim consoles and needs an entry point to be installed initially on the memory card. Now here is the main problem with this hack. Um, on the cons of this hack, it is the fact that your basic was only ever released on PAL consoles, meaning if you're on NTSC, which basically means everyone in America, you're probably out of luck. Um, where do you find these demo discs? You can find them on eBay, it says $10, I reckon about two pounds, they're really cheap. I'll try and find some in a second. And um, yeah, it's very interesting. A brand new hack out for the PS2 in October 2019, that is pretty crazy. So I was talking about these demo discs being cheap. I've just found a whole bundle of them for five quid. Look, look how cheap that is. And there's absolutely loads of them here. It looks like it's got actually most of them. It's got, is this like the complete set? Maybe it's got some unusual demo discs down there. There you go, five pounds. Can't go wrong with that at all. And um, there you go, guys. So that is the latest news about the PS2 scene. Pretty cool people are still making stuff for it. Let me know what you think in the comments of this video. Would I advise you to do this? 
Um, maybe if you have a slim console. If you don't, I'd say just get a free McBoot memory card off eBay for about £5. Or you can either get a mod chip and install that yourself if you're feeling brave. And um, that is it. So if you guys enjoyed this video, thanks for watching. Leave a like, leave a subscribe if you are new. And I will see you guys in the next one.